there are many people who walk through everyday life and just have a great idea. And they put it away as something they can't achieve, but if you really think it's going to be a good thing, you'll probably find you're not the only one that thinks it's going to be a good thing. And if you just find the right person at the right time, it can happen. I've been involved in simulation for about 10 years. One of the things that's always bothered me is most of the hospitals in the country are not big hospitals and don't have access to simulation. Pediatricians at rural hospitals were concerned about keeping their resuscitation team abilities up. It was so infrequent that they needed to resuscitate a baby, but when they did, they really needed to know how to do that. Babies born in rural hospitals have a six times more likely to have a permanent neurological injury, and a lot of that has to do with the way they are resuscitated at birth. The virtual reality and augmented reality have always been very interesting to me. Are you practicing? I am practicing. <laughs> it was incredibly fortunate that at the same time Mary and I were having this conversation, the Innovation Centre was happening and immediately knew that this was a group of people who could bring life to my ideas because they're in there, but I don't know how to get them out. I don't know where to start. I can remove the actual true baby and there is still a baby in there on the bed that Susan will be able to see. They were a mix of people who were able to teach me how to formulate my idea to give that elevator pitch so that people could get that aha moment when you say, oh, now I see why you're doing this. I'm listening to the baby's heartbeat. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Thanks to the Innovation Centre, we made a connection with Case Western University to make the first of these HoloLens babies. And in addition to that, I got the Ignite grant, which was an extra bit of funding. We can run through a scenario where we make the baby stop breathing. And you as the team will have to resuscitate the baby. And we'll all share that experience and you can watch it as a third party on a screen as well. We have the Rue Institute involved to help us develop a virtual coaching system. We can have the expertise coming from the US, coming from Maine Health, coming from this building here, that can remotely dial in and watch the simulation and give feedback. It's fascinating. So incredible that we've been able to save lives. We're heading into Waldo County Hospital to run a neonatal resuscitation. One of the things that's the most exciting about this is it's a fraction of the cost of the higher fidelity mannequins. It really triggers your assessment skills better than traditional sim. You can simulate a baby moving around, you can look at skin tone as compared to having someone tell you, well, this baby's now blue. So that creates a better feedback cycle for learning. I hope that this technology will improve the outcomes of, of children across the world, all because the team that's using this technology has practiced. Great work, guys. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. You have the backing of Maine Health. There is no way that without the Innovation Center, I would be anywhere other than just a figment of my mind. Thank you.